is the culmination of a thrilling WrestleMania season. We are sold out here in Orlando, Florida. Welcome everyone to SmackDown Live. It's the Bizarro World, that's what it's going to be, Tom. <laughs> we are in for an incredible night of action here. Tom Phillips along with David Otunga and the legend, Jamie Allen. Don, you're absolutely right there. We got some great matches tonight. We really do. We get a WrestleMania rematch as Naomi's going to take on Alexa Bliss to defend that SmackDown Women's Championship. Yeah, but a rematch that has been up to one. Baron Corbin asked for it. Dean Ambrose accepted. Those two are going to be in a street fight tonight on SmackDown Live. And after the incredible WrestleMania moment for John Cena and Nikki Bella, we understand the Miz and Marie are set to call out Cena and Bella here tonight live. But, John, this is so exciting. It's the first ever SmackDown Live after WrestleMania. People from all over the WWE Universe are here. Yeah, we expect this to be a lot of fun. These fans are going to be very vocal. They're going to express their, express their freedom of speech tonight. They're going to be loud. They're going to boo they, those they might cheer. They're going to cheer some that they normally boo. It's all about passion. And we love it. moment at Wrestlemania it shocked the 75,000 plus in attendance at the Orlando Citrus Bowl John what they saw in the WWE Championship match between Randy Orton and Barry White. There was a time where Randy Orton had now a 13 time world champion was absolutely speechless 75,000 plus in the Citrus Bowl were speechless at the antics of Bray Wyatt but Randy Orton all he needed was one RKO out of nowhere David, you think about how long Bray Wyatt was trying to get in the mind of Randy Orton and Orton finally accomplishing his goal. Yes, he did. Randy Orton showed that he's the better of the two when it comes to the mental manipulation. And, like John said, he's always got that equalizer. All it takes is one RKO. Randy Orton withstood the mind games for nearly half a year at the hands of Bray Wyatt. Went to psychological warfare this past Sunday at WrestleMania, and Orton came out as champion. Does anyone remember when I said, if you can't beat them, join them? And when the timing's right, screw them? Well, I left a very important part out. If you face them, if you fight them at WrestleMania for the title, then you better make damn sure well that you beat their ass. Now, Bray Wyatt, you think that you have power over me. Well, I find that funny because at WrestleMania last Sunday, I proved in this ring that I am your master and that you will never, ever forget my name. Make no mistake about it. The era of Wyatt has only just begun. And I am coming to reclaim what is rightfully mine. What she promised me! Of course, I have my rematch coming. But first, I have something very, very special planned for you. You see, Randy, I want to fight. But I want to fight in a different kind of match. One that will not only push your body, 
but it would push your mind as well. I promise, I'm going to drive you to a new level of insanity. You will be twisted far more than you have ever been twisted before, not just mentally, but physically as well. Psychologically. I'm going to change the way that you view this entire world. Light will turn to darkness, kindness into wrath. Watch your soul devour itself. <laughs> and at the end of the night, one of us will be sentenced to eternal damnation. You see, Randy, I want to fight you in what I like to call the House of Horrors, man. I don't know what a House of Horrors match exactly is, Bray, but I accept your challenge. And I see that you're here, so why don't you come down to the ring so I can whip your ass one more time? member of the Wyatt family, now back here with Bray Wyatt, going, huge member of the Wyatt family, look at the size of Eric Rowan, whoa, whoa, whoa. here comes another member of the Wyatt family, or at least former member, Luke Harper, Luke Harper wow. getting into the fray, going right after Rowan, making a beeline here for Bray Wyatt, but caught, for revenge on the Wyatts. Common enemies make strange friends. That's an unlikely duo right there. Two men at one point were a part of the Wyatt family trying to tear each other apart. Yeah, but I gotta wonder what a House of Horrors match is that Randy Orton agreed to, sight unseen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome The Miz and Maurice. Before I get to your intentions for tonight, I gotta ask you guys, what's your reaction to John Cena proposing to Nikki Bella? Proposal? Only John Cena uses a proposal and turns it into a WrestleMania moment. It's good marketing. Yeah, if anything, Nikki Bella should be thanking me because we backed up John Cena into a corner so badly that he had to propose. He had to save face. But with the superstar shakeup, this might be our only time to do this. So tonight, the Miz and Maurice are calling out Nikki Bella and John Cena. And let me make this abundantly clear. This will be the last time you see John Cena and Nikki Bella on SmackDown Live for a very, very long time. Huge words from the Miz and Maurice. 
Unfinished business for the A-listers, and the same goes for Alexa Bliss, who wasted no time in booking a rematch clause at the WrestleMania. Bliss challenges the new SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi for the title next. forward to for a long time. You better believe it. Won that championship in her hometown of Orlando. It doesn't get any sweeter than that. Well, right back here in her hometown of Orlando, Florida, again here tonight for SmackDown Live. Five consecutive sellouts here in Orlando for WWE. I tell you, Naomi came dancing all the way down that 85-yard aisle. I'd have had it needed a defibrillator. You yeah. might have tried that. Or you would have fallen, John. That's, that's not funny, John. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Feel the glow! Oh, it was this past Sunday at WrestleMania, the SmackDown Women's title defended for the first time in history. Naomi walking into the Orlando Citrus Bowl with her hometown behind her. And John, it was a six-pack challenge match. First woman to gain pinfall or submission would win the title. That's right, and look, it's just absolutely unfair for the champion, Alexa Bliss. This match was created by our general manager, Daniel Bryan, giving opportunity to every woman on SmackDown Live. Naomi brought it to every last woman in the match. And then this, this submission here from Naomi would seal the fate of the then champion, Alexa Bliss. Naomi becoming a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion, and Orlando would feel the glow. The hometown was rocking just like it is tonight, Tom. Meanwhile, the former champion, Alexa Bliss, wasting no time. Just 48 hours later, getting her contractual rematch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I can imagine how Alexa Bliss must feel. And what a way to kick off hashtag 
SD Live After Mania. And tonight's SmackDown Live is presented by Tap Out Athletic Wear. Available now at JCPenney. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. Is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Naomi. I think the big question right here is Naomi. Look, she has a once-in-a-lifetime experience. WrestleMania in her hometown. She wins the women's championship. She has to defend that championship again tonight. But you wonder, is she too hyped up? Is she too nervous? Can she do it two nights in a row? I think she can. I mean, she looks super confident to me. Hashtag women's title on social media. And Alexa Bliss going right after Naomi. And Alexa Bliss was was furious going into WrestleMania. John, remember, it, at one point it was all available women on the SmackDown yeah, and Live roster. Yeah, John, John, say, oh. say what you mean. It wasn't fair. It was five on here one for the title and a I kick. Mean, the odds of retaining out of that are astronomically small. You know, the champion deserves better than that. Uh, Alexa uh, Bliss deserves better than that. Now hold on, right there. If anybody deserved a one-on-one -on -one match, it would have been Naomi. Don't forget, Ooh. she never lost the title. She had to relinquish it due to injury. And then what happened? As soon as she came back. She reclaimed it. Oh, wham, wham, wham. Call oh, wham, Lance. You lawyer. Oh. Oh. Naomi able to drop Alexa Bliss outside the ring. Throwing the hometown love here in Orlando. Defense of the SmackDown Women's title. On the SmackDown Live after WrestleMania, Alexa Bliss getting her contractual rematch for the SmackDown Women's title and is bringing it to Naomi right now. Cover here and a kick out for the title. And you can see the injured knee here of Naomi. This was during the commercial break. Watch this. Whoa! This is a previously injured knee, John, that Naomi had suffered the injury and was forced to relinquish the SmackDown Women's title months ago. That's right. Naomi never lost that championship in the ring. We didn't know if she'd make it back to WrestleMania. And she worked as hard as she could in rehab, made it back. And you wonder now, maybe made it back a little bit too early. And this is only her second match back. I mean, we don't know if she can really go. You have to give credit to Naomi. She took advantage of the opportunity that Daniel Bryan put out going into here. But Alexa Bliss, some more punishment. You know, I just wonder what Alexa did to tick off Daniel Bryan. Wow, it is so unfair for Alexa Bliss to have to put up with that at WrestleMania and lose her championship when the odds were astronomically against her. The odds were astronomically against Naomi as well. It was an even playing field, John. But Naomi wasn't the champion. Yes, she was. She was the rightful champion. She never got pinned or submitted. Yes, me. Alexa was just a placeholder. A placeholder? Oh. A placeholder. Naomi came back and took her championship right there. David, I don't know about that. Alexa Bliss is a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion. The first we've ever had, actually. Yes, she is. But Naomi's always got her number. Always got her number. Always. Got Alexa got Bliss saved in her phone. Held that championship Ooh. longer than anybody else. Two-time champion. She won it both times. Cover, looking for a cover and a kick out. You called her a placeholder? Hey, I call him like I see him. It was Naomi's title. Well, she you never must, got pinned you or must submitted. Be blind, then, counselor. <laughs> it's no one's title. When you get hurt, you have to give it up. It's Naomi's fault for getting hurt. It's actually when Naomi was forced to relinquish the title due to injury that Alexa Bliss believed the title should have just been handed to her. It should have been. Alders down here for the title and a kick out. You have somebody like Alexa Bliss, and you have a champion that gets hurt and has to Ooh. give it to the champion, like, give it to Alexa Bliss. And look at Naomi trying to evade there out of the corner. One good leg here at this point in the match. Oh, and Naomi going right into the face here of Alexa Bliss. Wow. Big right hand. Off. Naomi's firing up. Oh. Still favoring the left knee, however. Naomi trying to get back into this match. Up on the shoulders here of Naomi. 
saying it's close. Oh! Oh! It connects with the one good leg, but can she capitalize? You wonder how much of that kick she was able to get because she had to plant. Cover, cover, bliss out at two and a half. Naomi had to plant on that good leg, on that bad leg. And listen. No leverage there, no strength Na there. You see the way she covered her. And Naomi is one of the best athletes on the roster, but a large part of her game is using her legs, jumping in speed. Oh. Now that I will agree with you on. Oh, DDT there by Alexa Bliss could be one of her best opportunities at a kick out. And listen to the WWE Universe tonight. They are excited. Watch this one more time. Planet. But still give credit to the heart and the passion out of Orlando. She's got a lot of family and friends in the audience, too. How great is it when you walk into someone's hometown Ooh. and you beat them in front of their family and friends and watch them cry? It is so much fun. Like when you lost in Houston at WrestleMania, right, John? Oh. I don't know what you're talking about, David. And quit <laughs> bringing up the past. I assume that's where you're going. Oh, oh the rear view. Caught with the rear view. When Naomi trying to shock some life back into the knee. Cover here on Alexa Bliss, but a kick out. She couldn't properly hook her. That was it, because the leg is still too hurt. Take one more look at this. Naomi, boom, right there to the face. But came down still on the injured knee in the process. Oh! The next with a shot there off the top rope, and Alexa Bliss is down. Well, David, I don't is know. Is she going to be able to hit this, though? I don't know what she's going for, but Alexa saw it coming. That is smart. Went after the injured leg. <laughs> oh, oh, man! They pulled out the injured leg, and now Alexa Bliss trying to use the ropes for the pinfall. Naomi able to transition. Right into the side. Oh, she's got it. This one is the title at WrestleMania. Alexa Bliss out. pops out. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Naomi. Now, see, that's a real champion right there. There was no way she was going to let down the hometown crowd. No way. Naomi was devastated when she was forced to hand over the title and couldn't walk into her hometown in WrestleMania as champion, but she retains her title here tonight at the Amway Center. Get a hold of yourself, David. Let us see her dance now. Hey, she's still doing it on one leg. Congratulations to Naomi, able to prevail with the target on her back. And in the wake of WrestleMania, Baron Corbin continues to target the Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose and has requested a street fight. Ambrose was happy to apply. This rivalry will not be contained in the ring. That is still to come tonight on SmackDown Live. continues to target the Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose and has requested a street fight. Ambrose was happy to apply. This rivalry will not be contained in the ring. That is still to come tonight on SmackDown Live. You know, all I keep hearing about is this superstar shakeup. And it makes me sick because what I should be hearing about is me, Kurt Hawkins. So here's what I'm going to do. This is an open challenge to anybody in the locker room. And I'm going to give it to the count of 10. Ten. Tens in the air.
Barclays Center. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. Making his way to the ring from Niagara Falls, Canada. Weighing it at 225 pounds. He is the perfect 10. This is a long time coming for one of the favorites of NXT, Ty Dillinger. The Perfect Ten is here on SmackDown Live. Now that's my kind of guy right there. A ten! Kurt Hawkins is talking about the shakeup, and uh, this will certainly shake things up. Definitely. I, I trained Ty Dillinger back in developmental, and even back then, this guy was a 10. I'm telling you, he's got all the tools. Ty Dillinger, a man who believes you don't believe in yourself as a perfect 10, then nobody will. Got to do it yourself, but Kurt Hawkins looking to spoil things here tonight. And see, that's the difference. Hawkins is arrogant, but he can't back up what comes out of his mouth. Dillinger is confident, and he backs it up. Oh. All right, I'll agree with you on that. Oh! A surprise at the Royal Rumble, fitting at the 10 spot, and now an opportunity here on SmackDown Live. Oh, oh and there's a stop oh, all over Hawkins. <laughs> this guy's infectious, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen to these people. Exposing the knee. Hawkins. Come oh, on oh, oh. Tiebreaker. Welcome to SmackDown Live, Ty Dillinger. Here is your winner, Ty Dillinger. Hey, what a great addition to SmackDown Live. That match right there. Down. Hey, I hope we don't lose Ty in the shakeup that happens next week. We just got it. Take a look back here at this match. The debut of Ty Tillinger, and he brought it to Kurt Hawkins in style here on SmackDown Live. He certainly did. He was absolutely all over Kurt Hawkins. And then there's the tiebreaker, knee right to the back of the neck, and Dillinger able to secure the victory here in Orlando. And John, the tens are still going. <laughs> tens everywhere. You got tens of fans, Tom. That's it. Well, it's a perfect night here for Ty Dillinger on SmackDown Live, and...
this whole thing's just been unreal. Well, I have to ask, how did you and Grog celebrate? <laughs> oh, oh man, we went ballistic. Man, I haven't been to sleep since. I've been so excited. But you know what? The whole time we were out, all we could think about was, you know, what if Andre would have been there? I mean, Andre was the man. You know that guy could drink a whole barrel by himself? A barrel. And the ladies loved Andre, and I'm not gonna lie, there was a small part of me that wondered what, uh, what Andre would have been like on a dance floor. Just saying. So yeah, we went out and we celebrated. But, but how could you not? You know, I just had the, the best moment of my life. You know, I just had my WrestleMania moment that, you know, I've, I've worked my whole life to get. But I'm just getting started, Dasha. This is the beginning for Mojo Riley because the bar has been raised. Now it's time to throw some weight on it. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Can you feel it, Dasha? Not really. Ooh, that's okay. That's okay. Because Andre and I can feel that. Congrats, Mojo. Boy, that is a game changer <laughs> for Mojo Raleigh, what happened Certainly at is. WrestleMania. And, uh, speaking of which, uh, we want to show you some footage from last night on Monday Night Raw, courtesy of WWE.com. You never know who's going to show up on the Raw to WrestleMania. It was Mr. McMahon with a game-changing announcement. WrestleMania was last night, and this big wheel keeps right on the turn. Which is why I've conferred with the representatives from both Raw and SmackDown. And next week we're going to have ourselves a good old superstar shake-up. Because it's time to shake things up around here. Well, the chairman of WWE sending out the announcement, John. What can we expect this Monday on Raw with this superstar shakeup? I don't know what to expect, but can you imagine <laughs> who SmackDown is going to get? Everybody wants to come to SmackDown. The only thing I know is next week, things are going to be shook. Well, we're going to find out next week, but coming up here tonight, the monumental announcement from the chairman of the Superstar Shake-Up, our commissioner, Shane McMahon, is here tonight and can hopefully shed some light on what next week holds for SmackDown Live. Shane McMahon is here live tonight in Orlando. And also live tonight, the Miz and Maurice will call out the newly engaged John Cena and Nikki Bella, the A-Listers. They're here! That is all next!
I'm John Cena. Recognize. And rule number one of John Cena's house rules is you may not say Cena sucks at any time in this arena. John Cena would like to get romantic for a second. Nikki, I love you. Uh, John! <laughs> I love that I manipulated you into giving me what I want. And I got what I wanted. A moment that makes me seem like a more relatable human being. The size of that ring on her hand. Thanks, sweet. I think it's a ring pop. Come on, just because your wife bought her own. <laughs> but just like everything in my life, our love, that diamond, are not real. You know what? <laughs> what is that, darling of my life? Because we only love ourselves, we are going to do exactly what we said we would never do. Ladies and gentlemen, effective immediately, Nikki Bella and myself are leaving WWE. <laughs> We're going to Hollywood. We're gonna be gone a very, be able to see us. <laughs> Goodbye. No more Cena. I'm gonna miss him. I'm, I'm not, this John Cena and Nikki can go, please, oh, by all means. So sad.
We are back live here in Orlando, set for a street fight on SmackDown Live. for the Intercontinental Championship against Dean Ambrose and John Baron Corbin requesting this street fight here tonight against Ambrose. Yeah, you got a three-time Golden Glove champion. Of course, he's going to request a street fight. And you got a lunatic in Dean Ambrose. Of course, he's going to accept. All right, because Ambrose doesn't have anything to prove. He's already defended his title. This is because he hates Baron Corbin. Well, that's what they say. You don't, you don't find an ugly guy. They got nothing to lose. From Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Dean Ambrose! Well, we know Ambrose is always ready for any type of fight to get set here for Baron Corbin tonight on SmackDown Live. But we want to take it back to this past Sunday at WrestleMania. Over 75,000 sold out of the Orlando Citrus Bowl as Corbin and Ambrose went one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, you talk starting off WrestleMania with a bang. Baron Corbin going immediately after those injured ribs of Dean Ambrose. But the lunatic absolutely calls him to the wind and ended up with dirty deeds on Barrett Corbin and retaining the Intercontinental Championship. Dean Ambrose celebrating as 8 million viewers watch WrestleMania streaming live on the WWE Network. And now this world picking him up and barreling him. Now right into the corner, Corbin going after Ambrose. Sean, how do you survive in a street fight? You do whatever you have to do. Look, anything's legal. Uh, if you got to stick a thumb in someone's eye, you got to punch someone in the throat, whatever you got to do, you do what you have to do to win. And we know Corbin will do whatever he has to do. He already showed us when he crushed Ambrose in the forklift. And not better to, believe he not will. To take away from this match, take a look at what is trending now. Shinsuke Nakamura, just before the commercial break, arriving here on SmackDown Live. This is what it's all about. Yeah, an unbelievable debut. You have to see this Shinsuke in person, especially that entrance. One of the greatest things I've ever seen. Oh, and Corbin planning Ambrose. Corbin seething after WrestleMania. Corbin just despises Dean Ambrose. Doesn't like him, doesn't like anything he stands for. Of course, Corbin doesn't like many people, as in none. That's because Corbin can't take being beat. I mean, he thought it was his night at WrestleMania. It wasn't. Like the Elimination oh. Chamber. Ambrose is the one who eliminated Corbin. Oh, come show me a good loser, and I'll show you a loser. Corbin's here to make money. He's here to win championships, and he believes Dean Ambrose took that uh -oh. opportunity from him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Wow. Corbin. Corbin. Oh, my God. Oh, Corbin. Set him oh, man. Let it run on his head. And look at Dean Ambrose go. The... Yeah, Corbin, I'm not sure he's even conscious right now. Certainly doesn't know where he's at. Oh, oh Corbin there sent goes Corbin sent into the WWE universe. Ambrose has literally beaten him all over the ringside area. Hey, it's all legal. It's, it's a, a street fight. Exactly. Corbin and dropped by Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is fired up. It's a street fight here on SmackDown Live. It is an all-out street fight here on SmackDown Live. Baron and Corbin and Dean Ambrose are tearing the place apart. Hey, it looks like a tornado went through Home Depot. They're <laughs> <laughs> furniture everywhere. 
the table set up in the corner. The Intercontinental Champion, Dean Ambrose, able to evade. Gets up to the top turnbuckle. Woo! Able to roll out of the way. And Corbin, oh! oh! the table! I'm not sure how much that didn't that take out of Baron it. himself. But Baron went to take him to that table. I think Baron's head was what went to that table as well. The first ever SmackDown Live after WrestleMania. These two are going oh, all out. Oh, man. man. Look at that. One more look at this. Look, watch Baron's head. I'm not sure Baron didn't take a huge brunt of that himself. Well, look at the big man. The big 275-pounder is already back up hey, right. Baron Corbin is a tough man, as is Dean Ambrose. We've said all along, Baron Corbin is going to be a world champion one day. Yes, he is, but he's got to go through Dean Ambrose. Ambrose is built for a match like this. He's the one who came up with an asylum match. Uh-oh! And Ambrose has already been a world champion, John. Yeah. He has, and he was a very good world champion, by the way. Baron Corbin. He wasn't a great face of the company. He made kids cry. He made birds fly into each other. Look at the smile on the face of Baron Corbin with the leather strap in hand. Oh, oh man. man. David, to your point, it's kind of hard to tell who this match style favors. Remember what Corbin did inside the Elimination Chamber. Laid out everybody. He sent through Ambrose through the uh, Lexan pod. Yeah, not to mention he crushed Ambrose with a forklift. I mean, in this kind of match, it's kind of a level playing field. Both of these guys do well. Both of them love to just oh, down. Oh, man! I tell you, I, I hit by a strap like that from Savio Vega many times. That hurts and hurts for days. Now Corbin rearranging the furniture here, puts the chair in between the turnbuckles, and Ambrose in a bad way here. And then Corbin, whoop, trying to send Ambrose into the chair. Oh, oh man. backfired on the lone wolf. This may be the opening Ambrose needed, too. Yeah, Corbin went face first in that chair that he had set up. It's the old adage, be careful what you bring in the ring. It could be used against you. Great look one. at this. One more look at this. Bam! Bam! Head first. Yeah. Man. Away oh, hey. looking for 30 teams, and Corbin able to turn it around. Catches Corbin with the knee, and Ambrose takes him down. Ambrose is in his element uh -oh. now. Oh! Turn about his fair play. Oh, and there's the receipt from Ambrose. Oh, my Ambrose is oh, going off with that strap. Somebody take that strap from him. And Corbin over the top. Ambrose is limit going up to the top turnbuckle here. Oh, it takes out Corbin. Ambrose looks like he hurt himself, though. Favoring those ribs after that landed. We talked about it at WrestleMania. That, like, what happened with the forklift? Corbin's still feeling the 12 times he got hit by a strap. <laughs> the eyes of Ambrose after this elbow drop here, but... The wheels are starting to turn in the mind of Dean Ambrose, and that's a bad place to be. The mind of Dean Ambrose? That man has a mind? <laughs> I think he's planning something. John says he just I, does. He just I, does I, stuff. I actually agree with oh, he, oh, table, I'm going to go through it with my opponent. That's what he does. Ambrose is all heart. Heart. By emotion. Yes. He's nuts. He's crazy. Ambrose, look at this. Like, He'll this do is all he hard to do. Oh, 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 smash through another table. Certainly got more heart than brains, though. What is wrong with Ambrose? He'll do whatever it takes to win. He'll put his body on the line. It doesn't matter. Don't you think this is going a step further than he has to? He just lost himself in the air, threw his opponent through a table. By his own volition. One more look. Wow. God. Oh, 
Remember, pinfall or submission in this street fight has to happen inside the ring. Only way to win. Oh! Oh, he caught, caught on the top rope. Oh, uh oh! oh Good night! Ball game! End of days! Barry Corbin wins! Here is your winner, Barry Corbin! These two just went through an absolute oh, war. Look at the ringside here. Look at this. For days, when Baron Corbin takes a shower, that water's going to hit those strap marks, and he is going to be in pain. Take a look back at this. Dean Ambrose going to every last minute here against Baron Corbin, putting him through a table, but then this. Oh. Baron Corbin taking advantage of Dean Ambrose. Sometimes in a street fight, you get a little unlucky, and this happens. Bam! Good night! Ball game! Corbin asked for this fight, he asked for this type of pain, and he knocks off the Intercontinental Champion in the process. Baron Corbin leaving Ambrose down in the remnants of this street fight, but coming up next, the, uh, or coming up later on tonight, the remnants of the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan teaming up against their former brother, Luke Parker, and the new WWE Champion, Randy Orton, tonight in our main event. Yeah, but coming up, this is big. Shane McMahon will address his father's monumental announcement of a superstar shakeup and hopefully provide some information as to what this means for SmackDown Live. That is up next. Commissioner of SmackDown Live, it's all back to business. A lot of questions about this superstar shakeup. He has to be sore. Thank you very much for that. You have no idea what that means to me. Again, thank you. It's certainly been a wild ride over the last couple of days down here in the Sunshine State. Monday night on Raw. Vincent Kennedy McMahon in, in his own fashion. So what does that mean? That means excitement for all of you that fill arenas. That means excitement for people watching at home. That's excitement and new challenges for Daniel Bryan and me. And I have to say this one thing. Uh, do I dare say that 
any superstar on the Raw roster should be praying the fact that they end up here on SmackDown Live. Because we have all together created the land of opportunity. I don't know what's going on with this whole superstar shakeup thing, but I do know this. I don't want to go anywhere. Because you know it, these people know it. SmackDown Live is the house that AJ Styles built. And I'll tell you this, I'll be damned if somebody else is going to come over and try to take that from me. But that's not why I came out here. You see, after WrestleMania, Shane, I feel like I owe you a little something. Continues and the tangled web of the Wyatt family unraveling. Can new WWE champion Randy Orton and the recently excommunicated Luke Harper cooperate against Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan? This match is next. We invite you to join us exclusively on the WWE Network for Talking Smack. Renee Young will be joined by our commissioner Shane McMahon with special guest SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi and the debuting The Perfect Ten, Ty Dillinger. And of course, Talking Smack following the most exciting hour on television. Things are going to get great as a part of 205 Live on the WWE Network. At WrestleMania this close to becoming Cruiserweight Champion. And so tonight on 205 Live, I won't be seeing double, I'll be seeing triple. 
So I'm in a fatal four-way match. But at the end of the evening, they're going to be one number one contender. And it's going to be me, Austin Harris. Fourteen thousand eight hundred and forty three sold out here at the Amway Center. They are all on their feet as the Eater of Worlds set for action with the returning Eric Rowan. Which just goes to show the magnetic charisma that Bray Wyatt has. You're People right. just can't help but follow him. You're right, everybody wants a charismatic leader. You see these fireflies as Bray Wyatt calls them. Walk just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. A curious thing earlier on tonight from Bray Wyatt saying, quote, the era of Wyatt has just begun and challenging Randy Orton to a House of Horrors match. Randy accepted without knowing anything about it. Uh, look, I can only imagine what Bray used to brainwash this Eric Rowan while he was out for these several months to, to come back home. I still want to know what this House of Horrors match is going to be. You and me both, David. Randy Orton doesn't seem to care. He's prepared to defend his WWE Championship at all costs. The following contest is a tag team match. Scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 275 pounds, Luke Harper. The target is his former family. Luke Harper ready to fight against Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan. Well, WWE Universe, enter online now at WWE.com slash Universal Suites for a chance to win a trip with Ross, Enzo, and Cass to Universal Orlando Resort and experience their newest water theme park, Universal's Volcano Bay. Things could have happened, Tom. And his tag team partner. St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. I know one thing about Randy Orton. I know he's got a game plan because he demonstrated how willingly he executed his plan that culminated in the WWE Championship. Venom in his veins and the title in his hand. Randy Orton is ready for battle here tonight. But it'll be next Tuesday, live in Boston, Massachusetts, the WWE Champion Randy Orton marches in to the City of Champions. Only three people in history have held that championship more times than Randy Orton. 13-time world champion. Triple H, John Cena, and Ric Flair. Look at that rarefied air that Randy Orton is in. And one day, Randy Orton could hold that title more times than anybody. I was in Japan with his father in the early 90s. He told me, he said, my son's going to be the greatest of all time. I thought it's just hyperbole. Randy Orton is one of the greatest of all time right now. And he's still in his prime. That's what's scary. You build a superstar from the ground up. It looks like Randy Orton. It'll be the massive Eric Rowan to start things off against the new WWE champion. And, John, how do you play this if you're Randy Orton with Rowan returning? Well, I think it's a bit of the unknown. Look, you obviously got this, this huge match. Look at the size of Eric Rowan. 
Not to mention, Randy's got to be careful about Luke Harper. I mean, it wasn't so long ago they were whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On an RKO early there. And oh, oh yeah. Owen! Massive, but also extraordinarily agile. The Wyatt family reunited. Randy's hurt. Can Randy Orton and Luke Harper get back in this? Massive, but also extraordinarily agile. The Wyatt family reunited. Randy's hurt. Can Randy Orton and Luke Harper get back in this? Divas returns. The dawn of a new era. Seasons change. My sister wants to have the comeback of a lifetime. Emotions stir. I'm gonna call the cops if you guys don't Sorry, quiet. I can't hear you over our fun. And Divas get dirty. Oh, look at that. It's time to turn up. Eva Marie has been suspended. That's the Queen of Dragons if I've ever seen one. Total Divas returns tomorrow night at 9. Only on E. Bray Wyatt in tag team action along with the returning Eric Rowan against the new WWE champion Randy Orton and Luke Harper. Yeah, and they have been taking it to the 13-time world champion Randy Orton. Bray Wyatt had a hard time hey, getting on the block here. Tap made. Here comes Luke Harper. Excommunicated member of the Wyatt family wants to take out Wyatt and Rowan tonight. Whoa, look at him. Oh! And a oh! Connects from the apron and a shot there on the massive Rowan. Oh, it Bray and out goes Bray. Incoming! And Harper, Watch it go! Harper sending oh. Rowan into our announce desk. Man, what a clothesline! There are bodies everywhere wow. here in this match. Watch this one more time. Boom! And Rowan went into the desk. And then Wyatt with a massive clothesline. <laughs> Sound like a gun going off in the arena. What an impact. Oh! Ooh. Sent on by Bray Wyatt. And a splash from Rowan. Harper kicks out. This is the first ever SmackDown Live after WrestleMania. 14,843 sold out here in Orlando, Florida. Part of five straight sellouts for WWE here in the city beautiful. Oh. Wow. And these two know each other very well. They were close for a long time. Let's not forget, guys, what we heard early on tonight, what Bray Wyatt said about the challenge to all oh, to Randy Orton about the House of Horrors match for the WWE Championship. Only imagine what that is. Yeah, and Randy accepted, not knowing anything about it. Hey, you know, Bray Wyatt just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Ever since he embodied the spirit of Sister Abigail, I mean, he's just been on a completely different level, a twisted one. Why don't you go tell him that, David? He's right there. Oh. You should go tell him, Tom. No thanks. Oh. A shot there to Rowan and Harper trying to pick up some momentum here. Oh, oh man. Just gets dropped by Rowan. Here's the cover and Harper's still in this. I mean, look at how easily Eric Rowan pick up Luke Harper. That is a this big tag. Yes, it is. Big, yes. Powerful dude. Let's go, Rowan, out top. Oh. Just Bray Wyatt just hammering away here on the side of the face of Luke Harper. Wyatt saying earlier on tonight, the era of Wyatt has just begun. Randy Orton and I are both sent to eternal damnation with this House of Horrors match. Can you imagine all the stuff that Bray Wyatt has done that he's going to up something a level from what he's done? To this house of horrors? Oh, he already did suffer WrestleMania that I've never seen before. Oh, wow. Dropping Luke Harper. <laughs> it's like a right hook. Hooked to both legs here, and Harper's still in this fight. Tag made, and Rowan back.
back into the battle. You're right, David. There, there was a time there was 75,000 people in the Citrus Bowl were just speechless at what was going on at WrestleMania. <laughs> Luke Dang. Harper speechless Cover right now. Rowan. Cover here and wow. a kick out by Harper. Get full contact out there. You got to love that. It's not pretty, but it is physical. Right. Oh, set face first in the top turnbuckle. And we talked about it when this match was announced. Can Randy Orton and Luke Harper work together? These two have not seen eye to eye when they were a part of the Wyatt family. You know, they're really not working together. Oh. Ra Randy tagged in Luke, and Luke's been out there, and we don't know if they're working together or not. It's a, it's a common enemy right now. Exactly. You know what they say the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Hey, and don't forget, we got that superstar shakeup something next week. Hopefully, we get Chet Cheddarfield from South Paul Regional. Oh. Shot there to the midsection, and Luke Harper trying to oh create a little separation here from Rowan. Can you imagine if you're in a bar somewhere and oh. see these two start going at it? The place would just empty. Oh. Can you imagine if you saw these two anywhere <laughs> out on the street. <laughs> now Rowan sets an urgency here, hook to the leg here, and a kick out by Harper. Yeah, I'm not sure that me and Ron in our heyday would want to meet these two guys in a bar. These are two big, tough guys. Watch this one more time. And Agile, look at this. That is what is so surprising about both Luke Harper and Eric Rowan is the athleticism of these huge men. And Bray Wyatt now legal. Those big shots there on Luke Harper. Randy Orton, watchful eye on the former WWE champion and Bray Wyatt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harper trying to rally back up to his feet here, taking a lot of damage from his former Wyatt family brothers. Oh, he oh. Oh. Bray Wyatt getting dropped by Luke Harper, and Harper's got an opportunity. Yeah, Harper was going to go for that boss man type slam and wasn't able to get all of it, but got enough. And this is Luke Harper's opportunity to get to Randy Orton. He might not get a better chance than this. Time to go. Here comes the WWE Champion. The Viper is ready to strike. Oh, wow. That was impressive. Well, you know what comes next? Oh, and Bray Wyatt. Bray does Bray. And Randy able to get Bray Wyatt here outside the ropes, out onto the apron. Hold on a second. Long way down. Oh. Randy Orton. DDT drops the eater of worlds, and the Viper is ready. Yep, he's going to that place. He's hearing voices. <laughs> Rowan went, oh, call it a super kick. Oh, okay. Randy Orton and Luke Harper take out the Wyatts. Here are your winners, Luke Harper and the WWE Champion, Randy Orton. I have no idea what just happened. What, what did that mean? Bray was in the ring. Bray wasn't. Randy almost got called. Randy didn't. All I know is we saw an RKO just like we saw at WrestleMania. The 13-time world champion is getting his hand raised with his partner, Luke Harper. Bray Wyatt is laughing on the ramp at this site. Of Bray course Wyatt. he is. He knows that he avoided an RKO. He is a demented individual, and he may know a lot more than that, David. He may know... He does know what is coming at this House of Horrors match that Randy Orton so brazenly accepted. Watch this. Bray Wyatt seemingly gone in the middle of this match, and Eric Rowan, boom, get caught here in between Harper and Orton. 
And all the while, Bray Wyatt would watch from the ramp as Eric Rowan back here into the mix with the Wyatt family. He's head to the rules. I can tell you with certainty, Bray Wyatt has something planned. And this wasn't it tonight. It's something about that house of horrors. Whatever the hell that is. Randy Orton, you better be ready, my friend. What lies ahead for the new WWE Champion?